Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a January book haul. Some of these books I got for Christmas, some of these I've just bought recently. I'm also going to show you two of the books that I bought for school because I spent good money on those and I want to put them to some use. Also I'm not going to go into like descriptions of these books because I feel like most of these are fairly popular books. I think you'll get the gist. I'm just excited to talk about why I'm excited about them. First, I'll just start with the book that I'm currently reading. This is A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. V.E. Schwab is one of my all-time favorite authors. I love her. I will buy anything that this woman writes 100%. I started reading this a couple days ago and it is super good. I'm two-thirds of the way through it and it's fantastic. I'm just so excited to finish this. Just all the characters and I just love this world so much. Anyway, um, another book from Victoria Schwab is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I read this book the very beginning of this month and oh my god, it broke me. It hurt me. But I love it and I will read it again 100%. It's just so good. I was gonna get just the one that I could pick up in Barnes & Noble, but this one is so much prettier. I saw the flowers on it and it's just gorgeous. I love the special edition Illumicrate one so much and if it wasn't like a hundred and fifty dollars on ebay i would own one i finished this in like two days i couldn't put it down it was fantastic um uh, maybe we should just like go on a fantasy kick that's kind of what all these are to be honest um i have the bone season by samantha shannon this is um ashley from frolic through fiction's favorite book and i love her so i was like i need to read this book asap i haven't gotten to it yet but once I find some room in my TBR, it will be shoved there. I hear so many people say that it's amazing. So I'm very excited to read this. It's about like clairvoyance, I think, in a world where it's it's not a good thing. So um, sounds angsty. Next up on the fantasy cake, we have a little bit of Neil Gaiman. This is Stardust. I read this book a couple of days ago. It was so weird and so strange but I loved it so much. I think Neil Gaiman is fantastic. I love all of his work. It's just so weird. You never know what's gonna happen next. I've also read um, An Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, which was debatably even more weird than this one. So I figured I should pick up another one. Next on the fantasy kick, we have a behemoth, which is the Prior of the Orange Tree. I hear there's a matriarchy and I hear there's dragons. So basically, I'm sold. It's a chonky book, let me tell you. Oh, like 800 pages? A little bit less? Is it 800 pages? I did read it last year, so this is, you know, shorter than that, so I hope I can get through it. And this one is debatably more chunky than the last one, but not in page count. If you know, you know. It's The Silmarillion by, who are you? Yes, Tolkien. I read The Lord of the Rings a couple of months ago and it was fantastic. I love it so much. The end still hurts me to this day, but it's fine. This is like the Bible of Middle Earth. And I've heard it is incredibly dense and it's not like super long. I think it's only like 300 pages, but it's, there's just so much information being dumped in this book. So will I get to this one soon? Who knows? So next up I have the house in the Cerulean Sea. I've just heard from so many people that this book is amazing. As soon as I saw the cover of this book, before I even heard anything about it, I was instantly drawn in. It's beautiful. Whoever did the cover design for this is, and I just want to read an amazing book. So I picked it up. Well, actually my dad offered to buy me a book. So he picked this one up. Okay, so that's it for the fantasy. Now I have a couple of others yes we have the postman only rings twice by james m Cain. it's like a 1930s I th is it a crime thing he wrote double indemnity which i read last year which i thought was really good so i wanted to pick up another one i've heard this book was like banned in boston for a while or something like that so i was like yep this is the one we're gonna go with plus they match how cute is that i'm excited to read this it's a short one so it shouldn't take me too long here it's steamy for a book written in the 30s i'm kind of shocked next i have two stephen king books i have nightmares and dreamscapes which i think is a short story collection yes i don't know anything about it. how do you talk about a short story collection as a whole i don't know but i thought the cover was really cool i found it at a secondhand bookshop so i was like i'll pick this up now and i'll get it at some point you know okay so the next book i have is another stephen king 
and I've read Pet Cemetery, and it's one of my favorites. I have it in like a tiny little little mass market paperback and I have the bigger version that my dad bought so he could read it and then he gave it to me. So now I technically own three copies of Pet Cemetery, which seems like excessive, but it's fine because I saw this one at Half Price Books. It's like the cover that I think of when I think of Pet Cemetery. And it's like kinda kinda disheveled. And as to that vintage feel. You feel me? Um, moving on. These last two books may be boring. Maybe you're interested. This is for a class that I'm taking this semester. It's like a Greek literature class. Now, I'm a I'm an engineering major, so you may be asking why I'm taking this class. I'm gonna tell you I don't know why I'm taking this class, but I have bought two books for it. We have Works and Days by Hesiod. Very exciting. Very tiny. That's what I like to see. I also have um, a bind up of the Iliad and the Odyssey. It's a thick one. Also, it's a like a paperback that has like the, you know, these kind of thing. I don't know why, but I really like this. It makes the book feel so much more expensive. So yeah, am I excited for this? I don't know, but it's in the haul anyway. So yes, that's the video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.